and uh, today we would do this expansion and factorization of quadratic expressions there are about uh, 20 questions right and I intend to do uh, 10 questions for this uh, first video and uh, the next question 11 to 20 will be in the next second video right okay we will try to solve number one first all right let's do this okay we have number one 5x square. We look at the 5x square. There are no other x square terms, so we just put 5x square there. Positive 3x, positive 4x, and minus x. Right? 3 plus 4, 7, 7 minus 1 there, so positive 6x. Right? Minus 2, minus 5, give you minus 7. Right? That's all about it for this number 1. Number 2. Right, we have to s open up the bracket, okay, and for this one, we open up the bracket for both of them, right? So five times two give you positive and negative give negative five times two ten a times a is a squared plus four a, right? There's no partner for that. Negative three also there's no partner. Then with negative there's a negative one there, right? And that is invisible number one, but it exists, yeah. Nobody gonna show you that. The examiner not gonna show you. You don't have to show it yourself. But we know there's a one number one there, but it's negative, so negative and positive give you negative two a squared. Negative and positive give you negative one. And of course we have a negative ten a squared, negative two a squared give you negative twelve a squared plus four a and negative one and uh, negative three, negative one give you negative four okay there are common terms 12 4 and 4 you can take out 4 right so negative is there. 3 4 times 3 12 so a squared take out a 4 already so left 1 so plus a minus 1 yep that's all about it folks okay let's go to number 3 <coughs> same thing open up the bracket so 3 times 5 3b times 5p and then times negative 7. So 3b times 5p give you negative positive. Yeah? 3 times 5 15. p and b is p squared. Positive and negative is negative. 3 times 7 is 21. Right? 21 21b. Don't forget that. Huh? Positive number. Okay. Positive and positive. We put positive. 2 times 3 is 6b. Positive and negative give you negative. 2 times 8 is 16 b and b is b squared right so what we have is uh, positive 15 and negative b squared right so negative b squared right and of course negative 21 b plus 6 b give you negative 15 b and of course the b here and b can take out one the smallest one here and of course we have a negative b minus 15 because when you open up back, right, you will still get back the same answer, right? Okay? Okay, right. Number four. Okay. Number four, we open up back again. Same, sorry. Okay. Two times two a times five a give two times five is ten. A and a is a squared. Two a times of negative four, so negative eight a. Negative three multiplied by a squared give you negative three a squared. Negative and negative give you positive 15 yeah interesting right so what we have we have this uh, 10 a squared minus 3 a squared give you 7 a squared right and 8 a negative 8 by itself you yeah, nothing much plus 15 also there's nothing much we can do so we just put it back okay okay let's go to number five okay do we have another rainbow method we can do it yeah four time three and 4 times negative 5a and after that you can multiply the 2a negative 2a by 3 and negative 2a by negative 5a right that means in other words if you want to see it would be 4 multiplied by 3 minus 5a right minus 2a bracket 3 minus 5a right so what we have is uh, 4 times 3 is 12 4 times 5 is negative 20a Right? And we have negative and positive give you negative. 3 times 2 is 6a. Negative and negative give you positive. 2 times 5, 10a squared. Right? 
Okay, the A squared times A squared put in front is a good practice. Eh? The higher polynomial put in front, right? Then A squared, and of course we have negative twenty A, and then you still me under the six A. We have negative twenty six A, right? And of course plus twelve, and we look up for any common terms. Yes, we have, right? So equal to. We can take out the, eh? we can take out two, right? So two bracket a squared minus thirteen plus six thirteen a. Yeah? Don't forget, right? Because there's an a here. Okay. Okay. Let's go to number six. Okay. Ah, number six is another question where we can't. We we have to do this by what? By factorization, right? And the only way we can do is we have to use the cross method. I'm going to teach you a very interesting method. Well, it is known as a cross method. Okay, we have a squared. We put it back here, and we have negative seventy-two, right? We put this here. Okay, and the answer must be negative a. So we put here. Simple, right? Very simple. And the factors of a is what? Well, there's nothing much. A and a, isn't it? Negative seventy-two. We can put nine eight, right? Don't worry about the negative sign here first. Okay, don't worry about that. We just see nine eight is. Seventy-two, isn't it? So when we cross multiply them, that will give you nine a and a times eight give you eight a. But we want a negative a, right? Because the difference between nine eight is a. Hmm? So, but we must have a negative. So the negative must be four the nine, right? Yeah. So positive a negative nine multiplied by positive eight give you negative seventy-two, and the summation, right? Negative nine a plus eight a give you negative a. Therefore, we have the factorized form, which is a minus nine, right? A minus nine multiplied by a plus eight. Simple. That's all. That's this is your solution, right? Okay. Let's go to another example uh, to reinforce. Don't worry, we have we have a few examples. Yeah? Okay, let me just draw a straight line so make it nicer for you. Huh? Okay, we do the cross and of course W squared we put here. Positive 35 we put here. And negative 12 of course that is the result that we want. Negative, don't forget that. Huh? Negative 12 W, right? Okay, what are we gonna do? Well, w squared we can put w and w right. Thirty five is what the product of seven and five. Uh, as I said, don't worry about the negative or uh, positive symbol first, because at the end we must have negative twelve, right? Seven. So we cross multiply seven w, and then here we have. Uh, let me just make it nicer for you, okay? Seven w and w times five give you five w. Then we need a negative twelve. Seven and five is twelve. So we just have to give the negative to both of them. So negative seven multiplied by negative five give you positive thirty-five, right? So we have negative seven w minus five w will give you negative twelve w, right? So we have solved another question. So w minus seven bracket w minus five. Simple, right? We learn number eight. We have ten d squared minus d minus three. We are supposed to factorize it. Okay, we do another cross. All right? We have ten d squared here and minus three. We we'll put here. All right? And the answer must be negative d. Okay? All right. We say let's try. There are ten d squared. If let's say we put five uh, d here, multiply by two d. All right, that will give you ten d squared, right? And we put three and one. Let's try three and one. And when we cross multiply two times two d times uh, three, give you negative or positive, positive, right? Two times three is six d, okay? And five d times one is five d, but here we need a negative d, uh -huh. so we might as well give a negative here, right? So we can erase this one to become. Negative six and negative six d plus five d give you negative d, and negative three multiplied by positive one give you negative three.
country right therefore our solution will be 5d minus 3 and 2d plus 1 simple isn't it yeah not that not that difficult isn't it, huh? okay we have number 9 let's try to have another number 9 and an interesting question all right we just draw one cell line here right and we do the cross 15 h square and negative 1 the answer that we need is negative 2 h right okay 15 now we can put 3 and 5 3 h and 5 h give you 5 15 h square right 1 and 1 of course does not be much but we have to play around we need the answer to be negative 2 h right so when we cross multiply 5 h times 1 is 5 h uh, 3 h times 1 is 3 h the difference is must we mu in order to get negative here yeah, we must give the negative 5 h right negative 1 there so negative 1 times positive 1 give you negative 1 right okay nice game isn't it take it as a game yeah? then you'll be able to solve it much easier so we will equal to 3h minus 1 and 5h plus 1 that's all simple right let's look at number 10 mm, another challenging question okay all right we look at this we do the cross oh, let's make it nicer okay we have uh, 4c squared and 3 right and the answer must be 8c 4c squared mm, let's put 2c and 2c 3 uh, we can put 3 and 1 so we cross multiply 2c times uh, 3 give you 6c 2c times 1 give you 2c and we need a positive 8c so it's a clear cut right very easy this is much easier so equal to 2c plus 3 and 2c plus 1 okay all right folks this is the last question and the next uh, video right number 11 onwards we will try to do more challenging questions especially number 16 right on how to use the expansion and factorization of quadratic expression to a higher level right Chal more, much more challenging questions all right i will show you this in the second part of our video all right thank you for watching and remember to watch the second video, right? Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.